Joining me now is Tom Switzer, head of the Centre for Independent Studies. Tom, thank you so much for your time. What's your take on this? Were you shocked? Well, I am shocked. I mean, Aaron, I've known Stan for a long time. I, I like him enormously. And I think on his day, he's a very good presenter at the ABC. And I assume that um, there must have been some pretty vile and offensive things said on social media to have driven him away or at least forced him to step aside. If indeed he has been a victim of racist abuse, and I just don't know, I don't follow social media, uh, then that should be condemned. But the cold hard reality, Aaron, is that Stan's style of journalism has changed dramatically in the course of the last six months since this voice debate has been really intensifying. Now, on the taxpayer public broadcaster, and I happen to host a program on the ABC's Radio National every week, unlike commercial uh, outlets, full-time uh, ABC staff, presenters at primetime programs, these are reporters and presenters, they have a duty to be fair-minded, uh, balanced, and they strive for objectivity. And that applies especially to journalists who present high-profile programs like Q&A. However, in recent months, Stan has become a provocative columnist mm. as, as well as a presenter. And in the view of many seasoned observers of journalism, Stan has become something of a flamethrower in the public debate. He can't be both. He can't be both a presenter yeah. of a program pretending to be objective and at the same time be a flamethrowing columnist. So ultimately, this is a failure of ABC management to rein him in. He's made this point, and I want to read it to you, and forgive me for, for having my phone here on the desk, but he's actually written an article that the ABC has published, and he's been very scathing of them as well. He says, I'm writing this because no one at the ABC whose producers invited me onto their coronation coverage as a guest has uttered one word of public support. Not one ABC executive has publicly refuted the lies written or spoken about me. I don't hold any individual responsible. This is an institutional failure. The ABC has published this. What do you make of that? Well, I think um, the ABC is, has been derelict in its duty, frankly. I mean, Stan reflects a, a growing consensus among academics and teachers that, uh, um, that the school curriculums, you know, it's it simply become impossible to suggest uh, in this day and age that British colonialism had any beneficial effects at all. For example, I mean, British colonialism was central in the creation of a great country like Australia. Now, Stan focuses on the imperialist past, that the British Empire was solely about theft of land and the exploitation of Indigenous people. Now, some of that is undeniable, and only a lunatic would be proud of it. But is it racist to say that British settlement also led to some wonderful achievements, you know, the rule of law, liberal democracy, market uh, economics, uh, a justice system, a free press? Um, but unfortunately, in his commentary, he presented a really one-sided view, and this was supposed to be the ABC's yeah. primetime coronation coverage. The ABC management should never have allowed uh, that to have taken place. Uh, so I think ultimately the, the, the floor here is with the ABC management, but Stan himself has become a flamethrower in this debate. He can't be both a presenter and a, and a columnist. Yeah, and I think to be critical of the ABC hosting that panel on that day, on that occasion, is not racist, absolutely. I have no doubt he's been subjected to racism online, as he said he has, and that is appalling and abhorrent on every level. But I think you, you've surmised that brilliantly. Tom Switzer, thank you so much for your time. Great to be with you. Thank you so much.